Today is the day that we finally changed the brakes on Amelia. It's been a few months since I went out and we had to three-legged dog her home. It's time for us to get back out and that's gonna happen here pretty soon. Another week and a half we'll be doing a shakedown run. Hopefully this weekend we'll get some tires changed. I've got to do this uh, in the snow. I bet there's supposed to be a big storm coming in tomorrow. So let's get this done today. So we'll be out here in the, the blowing snow and the cold. The first thing we gotta do, hook the truck up, jack the trailer up. Okay, no, no. That, you are so not, oh God. Mm. Balls. That's not true. First thing we gotta do, let's take those tire covers off. All right, tire covers are off. The backup help just arrived. There she is. So now we'll get uh, hooked up so we can get this done. So you gotta go forward a tiny bit so I can get that chalk out. What? Oh yeah. Now you're thinking. I'm glad that's just, you know, snow melting off and not a horrible leak. <laughs> Can't wait to give her a bath. I know you don't like me to say break them loose. Yeah, I really so we'll just loosen them a little bit. Appreciate you not saying break. This seems a little extreme. Somebody didn't torque these down last time. It's like he knew we'd be coming back to do this. All right. Let's put this down Okay, so now you're gonna back up onto it until that front tire's off the ground. And then as soon as it is, I'm gonna put that chalk in, in front of that tire, right? Yes. Okay. I'm so excited. Easy peasy. Oh, easy peasy, doesn't squeezy. Okay, here we are. He's backing it up onto the jack. Oh, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Maybe you can't do it. <laughs> What's this? Wait. Oh. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you were kind of in a divot there. We're going to start over. Okay, we're over here at Amelia. That front tire needs the brake done. So we're jacking her up onto this big wedge on the back tire. And uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Keep going. A little more. Wait, let me get this chalk in there. Okay. How'd we do? Awesome. Yay. Much better when you're not trying to climb out of a ditch, right? <laughs> right. That's All good. Right. Okay. And I'll bring dirty. How'd we do? Awesome. Yay. Much better when you're not trying to climb out of a ditch, right? Right. Oh, my phone just died. All right. You sure you're okay here by yourself now? What if you need something? I'll call you. You have to call Every time I change a tire, I picture the tire changing scene from Christmas story. Dad, come and blow out. Four minutes. Time me. And here lately, well, on the last trip, since we got this tire stream, that story a lot because we've had these tires off way too much. Oh, fudge. Way too much. That's okay. We have to do it once a year. Hopefully, from here on out. So, the plan for doing the tires is to take them to discount tire and have them do this for me. All right, tire is off. I'll need that later. Set that right over there. 
be back with more tools. GoPro. Hub covers off. I didn't put the clip back on. You'll see what we're talking about. Let me put it back together. We do need to take that nut off. That is a one and seven sixteenths. First time you take that off, it's got to be tough. Probably a breaker bar extension. I didn't torque it. Since I've had this off and I knew I wouldn't be moving it until we got this replaced. Okay. Sure. And that drum just comes right up. Okay. Telling the camera what's going on. Oh. Like that. So I just black taped over the end of these to keep them from touching each other. Shorten anything out. If you don't have black tape, in your kit, you should go get it right now because it will you will use it. I promise it's better than baling wire on a Mountain Dew can. This is the new assembly, I don't have the old one here to show you the difference because I tore it apart. But the formation wires that we will connect are right here, everything else just we'll, we'll bolt that right on. I'm a see if it fits before we put everything together kind of guy. So we will make sure that fits. Pull that wire back out. Alright, that's gonna go on just about like that. It's tougher to get to those wires with that on there, so I'm gonna prep one side of the wires so that all I need to do is connect the other side and use the heat shrink. So we've got connectors to put on that end, on those ends, we'll press them together and then we will heat shrink that to protect it. Since that's going to be tougher to get to behind there, I'm going to go ahead and hook those up now. Can you see okay? All good? I do have some cutters, stripping wire. So we're just going to strip these wires out a little bit enough to even put them together. Get some bare wire on them. So you can see you got just a little wire off there. I decided not to cut above there. I don't know why. So we'll need some heat shrink tubing and I'm going to use butt splices. <laughs> butt splices. Splice. This end will go in here. The other wire will go on that end. Crimp, crimp those together, nice seal, and then you'll heat the heat shrink on it. Okay, what size heat shrink do we need? Well, something that will go over the butt splice. <laughs> that's close. Oh, that's that's pretty nice. We don't need the whole thing, obvi. Just enough to cover that. So we're gonna cut that in half. Pretty good half. And we'll just slip it down here. Over the edges. So there's no positive or negative on these, thank heavens. Because these aren't marked positive or negative either. It's blue and white. It's just going to send power through it when you hit the brakes. And in to where you can't see the copper. Perfect. That's going to be good. I don't hate it. When you crimp the ends of these, you're going to crimp it down on there. Kind of like that. Anyway, it's going to crimp them down so they're nice tight on that wire. If you want to solder them, hey, that's fine too. But you just need something to make sure they're going to stay on there. Nice. It's going to stay. All right, we'll do that. Well, we're gonna do that three more times. One, two, three. All right, those are on. Got good connection. 
that's it solid. Let's slide these heat shrinks up and shrink them on. Stand by. All right, one heat shrink is up. I'll show you the other one. You just slide them over like that until that is covered. They're going to shrink down, help connect it, but also make a nice tight watertight seal and hopefully warm my hands up a little bit with the flame. <laughs> That's not going to work. All right, different one. Heat gun would work. All right, now we're getting somewhere. All right, that one is shrunk. So we'll do the other one. I won't make you watch that. All right, we are shrunk down and ready to put this back on. Where are my gloves? Sorry, you get the backside view. This will go on like so. Those are up and out of the way. This part always goes to the bottom, just so you know. We got some new nuts to go with it. We can torque those on this particular one to 25 to 50 foot pounds. So it's but that basically means good and firm. Let's see that these look a little better. All right, so this is on. It's snug. But I'm going to go get the torque wrench, and I'm going to put them at about. I'm put them at about 40, 40 foot pounds. Okay, that's on. It's all been cleaned up, torqued, shiny new drum. Should fit right over it. Slide on like so. All right, I, I rested that on there. Check the brakes on the track and make sure that that will actually stop. And it does. So now we can start putting it back together again. Yay! In proper order, we will. Put on the washer, put on the nut. You might be thinking to yourself, D, what's the torque you put on those? And there's a ring that goes on there to remind you. So we'll do 150. All right. Torque it on. That's a happy sound. Next is that reminder, and the ring will go on there. They do make a tool to separate those. I don't have mine with me. They also make another tool to uh, help do that, and that's called a screwdriver. Can be done. Just like that. So now we can just put that tire back on, put the lug nuts on, torque them down. That's per the specs. And then later on this week we'll go change the tires. Um, I have some more to say, but my battery's well, eight percent. So we won't get through that. So we'll talk again when it's the tires back on and it's not so cold. Several days later, we are hooked up. Just a couple of issues the tailgate on the truck was frozen shut well that was the biggest issue the steps were a little frozen i'm going to show you why we're changing tires because you can see if i get out of the sun the cracks are coming along right here that's not a good thing the date stamp on these tires are from 18 so we're we're coming up on about time to change them out. See the date stamp right there, 1618. I believe the front ones are 1418. 
anyway front ones are 14 18 so they're they're due they're five years old they've hit their life even though there's some tread depth that cracking is not a good thing so we will um, see if we can get out of here Daisies blooming Sundress swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring You've put a spell on me And I hope that you never decide to set me free Eventually I don't want to leave you out again, so Thank so, you. I appreciate you for remembering me. Yeah. We made it to Discount Tire, no problem. And they are going to do the tire change right here. I pointed out the jack stand. Well, it's not a jack stand, the jacking spot. And I will hang out and make sure they do that. We had a discussion on tire pressure. They wanted to do them to 80, I wanted a little less than that. He said, oh no, no, you always feel the max tire pressure. And I said, well, do that then, and I will let some out. The max is 80. Two of them have 80. Two of them have 65, because because they do. Because I had the valve stems replaced. But I want 70. And you should have what you want. I should. It's your airstream. They will have 70. I'm going to hang out here. She's going to go across the street. and Do some shopping. Some shopping. Some clay shopping. Clay shopping. I'm going to go find some clay. All right. So we're going to film them doing the tires. Okay, they make like it or sure not. that they jack it properly. Yes. I don't want this thing being all jacked up. I don't want to be in jacked up. I pointed it out and he was like, oh, okay. Hey, have fun, baby. Put it in the back of the truck. I need a bigger air compressor. Then downhill and it'll stop. And it'll you, stop you. Know? That's, but that's cool. You Man, know, can't, then, I'm in this, so I don't even want to talk about yeah, gas mileage. Yeah. Hey, my mama's. <laughs> hey, well, uh,
tires are on. It's so pretty. It took a little over an hour, even with all the bubbles. So, gotta feel pretty good about that. We were worried this morning about this part. Well, I was. You were never worried, were you? No, you know me, I don't worry about stuff. This part doesn't Gun scare me, but that part so right over there does. Doesn't look too torn up right now. Maybe you better get a running. Run some so heads. Oh no. What? Oh dear, I'm just nervous. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's very much a mud bog. Nothing to it. Oh, right, clear it. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. Uh, whew. That was a little bit whew. bumpy. A little bumpy. A lot of snow piled up over here. Is that a drift? Wow, it must be. Shoot, I wish I was recording that. It was I wish you were recording. Oh, it was you? slick. No, I wish it was recording. Oh, it was slick. <laughs> yeah, when, it's, when, when we slid, she really slid. If we came forward like six inches, we would be right over it. Yeah, we lost That's, that's side, pretty good. I, I think that's good but enough. it's not frozen anymore, so we can just move it. I guess we can. Right, I'm going to go show them the, the spinny out spots. It was just this mushy, mushy <laughs> snow through here. I think if the snow... I don't think you were sliding on mud. I think you were just sliding on the snow. Yeah, I think if this had been cleared, if it had melted or if he'd come up and put this part out we would have been fine but we're fine anyway you made it no ruts over here but there's there's ruts through there <laughs> all right so we're we're gonna unhook she's got her new shoes and uh, they're all muddy and prepare for the next steps